I could describe my home, I would describe it as very loud. This is my getaway, I like to say that. This is my sanctuary. But it's also an important place for people to come to if they need sanctuary. What I love about where I live is my view. I'm happy to be a member of this community. I'm proud. They're very like um, family oriented. Everyone like knows each other. It's home, I love it. This is family for me. We've been taking care of each other for a very long time at Borough Council. We want to make sure no one falls through the cracks. Right now during COVID, we've had to do medication pickups. Delivery! Um, there's some that have lost um, home attendance, and so we aid wherever we can there. We work on getting people air conditioner during, during the heat. My role as a youth organizer is we work on a lot of different things, but we do a lot of advocacy work. Our main focus is NYCHA. Reaching out to people is, is literally life-saving. There's so many things I could say about living in NYCHA. I can go back and start by saying, I'm already feeling emotional. Um, I was born and raised in this development. So I always say, I don't have um, one mom and one dad. I have a thousand moms and a thousand dads. I have a love of my community that's unreal. Night has always been its own world. It's a struggle. So when you have like 20 amazing neighbors that love each other and take care of each other, it makes the hard times easy. One thing I want to fight for is to combat the, the assumption that the project is bad. I think some of the biggest stereotypes are that NYCHA residents are full of criminals. Lazy welfare recipients that we don't care because we're not those things we're human just like everybody else i work in the hospital and social work part. there's doctors police healthcare workers my hope for the future of nitra is that they get fully funded the repair is one of the biggest problems that nitra faces if she has to spend money on pieces for the toilet that housing is supposed to fix, I might not have lunch money. My hopes is that um, we can find light again. NYCHA serves a purpose. It serves an essential purpose. It serves as safety, health. If there's no NYCHA, there's no place for those of us who live on a limited income. We're gonna keep on fighting. We're not gonna give up. That's you're either part of the problem or you're part of the solution. For me, I want to be a part of the solution. <laughs>